go. Hi, Coach Reader. A uh, lot of lot of energy this morning out of you, man. I, I don't yes, think I expect anything less. Yes, sir. Underhook series. You got another session coming up here, but uh, what's the summer been like for you, and what are you up to? It's been busy. You know, we, a lot of emphasis has been on our guys. We've been we've been all over the place doing camps as well, individual camps, but uh, just getting our guys better, man. Getting ready for the season. Uh, looking at you know Fargo. Fargo is you know yep. it's right kind of. Yeah, three hours away, three yep. and a half hours away. Three hours case. up north. Three hours up north, looking at that tournament, something right kind of in your backyard. Absolutely. As far as out here goes, you know. Yeah, it's perfect for us. It's it's an easy drive up to Fargo to, to recruit kind of our demographic, and it's right right in our area, you know, Minnesota, Iowa, you know that that Midwest demographic, and it's it's it was nice. You guys are totally on the you know coming up as far as you're in a new conference. I mean, everything I see out of you guys, I was complimenting you right. and Bono. Uh, Social media wise. Yes. Oh no no. Coach Bono he's a he's a mastermind. You know, in every aspect. You know, he's not just a phenomenal person and coach, but he, he knows the business side of things and, and the way to get your program out there and promote it in a positive light and you know, it's easy when we got great administration too. You know, it's easy. They let us run with the ball and, and do whatever we want. I'm a wrestling guy and a wrestling media guy, but like I knew most of your lineup, at least six or seven guys. Yep. And you know, I, there's some of the Mid American Conference teams that I didn't know a lot of their right, full lineups. Right. It was kind of crazy, but looking at that and uh, putting out the digital footprint, how important is that to you guys? You know, you guys aren't in the middle of all the, the you know, you're not, right. you're not, you're not in St. Paul, Minneapolis. Yeah. You're not, you know, you're not uh, in the Big Ten country. Right. But when you look at that, how important is it to, to get that out there and you know get kids on campus, let them see what you guys got? It's 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 huge in every aspect, and it's it's rewarding too. You know, when you go on long road trips and you you hear them. You know, a fan say, hey, get jacked. You know, that we know we're doing our job right, you know, and our guys are getting promoted, our program's getting promoted, and people are starting to see us as a, as a contending team, and, you know, we believe it, and we can't wait for, for November 4th as our first dual meet. Who so, you guys got? We, uh, we open up with Iowa State. So, right yeah, at home. I was looking at that schedule that you guys put out. Yep. You guys put out a phenomenal, phenomenal. graphics. Yeah. Phenomenal. And yep. it's, it's tough. <laughs> it, absolutely. And I think I, we're really big believers in that. Let's let's be tested now during the season and not be a shock at, in March, you know. I, I think it's a, a, a huge positive thing for us, and especially the Big 12. You know, you just look at the Big 12 alone. That there's tough teams throughout. We got Iowa, Iowa State, Oklahoma, all coming into Brookings. We're on the road at Virginia Tech, Oklahoma State. You know, the list goes on and on. West Virginia. World team member for you guys. Yeah. I Seth mean, Rose. and a guy yeah. who, like, took barnstorm from people. I don't Absolutely. think people saw him Seth coming. Is, you guys knew. Seth's been doing great. And, you know, we have another world team member who's been training in our, inside of our club with Ron Heaton. Um, so we've been we've been putting them on a training plan as well. And, you know, it's brought, it's brought the rest of our guys right along with them. You know, they've been doing the same thing Seth and Ron have been doing. And uh, we expect gold medals out of these guys. Looking at you know your future competition wise, um, you know I, I I haven't heard one way or another, but you know is there another quad in you? Is coaching in you? You're a father now. Things yep. have changed. Yep. Body Life's gets good, older. Man. Life's good. What, what what is it though? Is it is it? I'm still wrestling. You know I still train and compete every day, um, and until that stops, you know it, it, nothing's going to change. I think life's good for me right now. I have a baby girl, and life's good for me. Coaching's unbelievable. I love it, and uh, until I stop. Training the way and intensity level that I've been training at for a long time, then uh, things may change, but nothing's changing anytime soon. What's being a dad like? Unbelievable, man. I like you, it too. Hey, listen, you think anything you've done in your life up until having a kid is, is special and important? There's nothing more important than that little girl. And nothing makes me more happy than, than coming home to her. So it's it's been fun. It's been fun seeing her grow and seeing her struggle and seeing her get you know stronger neck. It's It's unbelievable. Is anyone going and traveling overseas with Seth? Coach Bono and I will be both going uh, August 29th. We leave with, with Seth, and we'll go over there, get, get him acclimated and ready to roll. So, um, so both coaches? Both coaches, man. Both coaches. And then will Shop be holding? Is shop will be holding down the fort while we're gone, and then, and then we'll all meet back up. And our, really, it's not going to be like starting preseason for us because our guys have been training literally all summer. You know, not as a uh, volume, not as much volume, but the, the intensity level is still there. All 30 plus guys are in town training, and you know, we're excited. We're excited. You know, you've competed at the highest levels internationally. Uh, you know, obviously, college, you're a Division I NCAA champ. Um, in high school, you're a phenom. You know, you were a blue chip guy coming out of high school. How do you guys got to do, what do you got to do at South Dakota State to get more, get a John Meter, to get a, a, a blue chipper like you? Just got to win. Just got to win, man. And that's what it comes down to. You know, just got to keep winning. And, and, you know, I think we have a great group of guys right now, and I think they're on the verge of doing great things. 
and the more that we keep that ball rolling, the more the more recruits come. That's just plain and simple. But um, you know, I, I'm a big, huge believer, and I'm not just being biased. But Coach Bono is a, truly a, a phenomenal coach. And the more you're around him, the more you want to, you know, you want to compete. The guy want he'll make your head run his head through the wall. You know, it's it's fun. You guys haven't had an All-American yet. How much right. does that stick with you guys? Obviously, you're training guys now. They're going to be training hard through August to preseason. you got two world team members. Right. How much does that stick with you guys? Huge, huge. I think it's it's important for us to put somebody on that podium this year, not just for our pro. It's huge for our program. It's huge for recruiting. It's, it's huge for everything. Um, you know, Seth Gross was a big part of that first movement. I think that match at the World Team Trials for him and juniors, making that junior world team, that's part of it. I think we were due for that big match, and now it's kind of brought our guys along all summer. You know, and this is the best off season we've had since I've been there. You know, and I, I truly believe it's going to pay dividends come March. All right, coach, you got a technique session to run here. You got anything else for me? Get Jack. Hey, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. And uh, keep that energy level up, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir.